Good morning, this is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Still seeing some mostly cloudy conditions out there as some low clouds have unexpectedly built back into the area. Uh, just some scattered broken deck in the lower layers. We also have some of those high clouds out there. Expecting a similar day to what we saw yesterday as we get into afternoon hours. We'll pick up a chance of an isolated shower or storm popping up in the area to have one popping up uh, south of the Wallops area, so we will have that risk as we get into the afternoon hours. We look at the current surface analysis. Overall, we have high pressure in control. We have upper level disturbance to the south that's causing this shower activity over the Carolina coast. Otherwise, there's a surface trough just to our west that's not showing up. That's going to be the main focus of any showers or storms that get popping up uh, this afternoon and through the day today. If we look at the upper level winds, we have some very light winds through the column today with winds uh, below 10 knots throughout much of the column without, with the exception of 13 knots, which is our peak wind at 25,000 feet. Overall, we have a uh, easterly wind near the surface becoming subtly and then becoming westerly as we go up through the the column into the upper level. So light and variable winds through the column and freezing levels at 14,300 feet. Just a quick look at the local radar. We can see uh, just a shower that has just popped up here about 25 to 30 nautical miles south, southwest of the island. Uh, not expecting any impacts from that shower as we just saw with those light upper level winds. These storms are going to be fairly stationary as you can see here that storm is just kind of sitting there popping up and it's going to rain out likely uh, but we'll see again that slight chance of some other pop-up showers and storms particularly as we get past the uh, noon time frame if we look at the current visible satellite uh, we can see plenty of clouds in the area we see that shower down to the south otherwise just those low as well as those upper level clouds that are continuing to swing through the area and Expecting that to continue as we go through the day with those southeasterly winds. If you look at the short-term models, see how things play out over the next 24 to 48 hours. Again, as we go through the day, we'll see uh, those afternoon hours kick up, some pop-up showers and thunderstorms. For the most part, we'll have a better chance of seeing lightning in the area than we will actual rain. About a 20% chance of rain actually makes it here over the Wilds area. Otherwise, we do have a chance of seeing some just storms in the vicinity that could trigger a lightning advisory or lightning warning. That should start to wrap up pretty quickly as we get past the 1700 local time frame and as we go through the overnight once again we'll have a chance of seeing some uh, misty and foggy conditions reducing visibilities as we go through the early morning hours on Friday. As we get into Friday that, as the sun rises that should start to dissipate and then once again we'll have a chance of uh, some pop-up showers or storms in the afternoon Friday looks to be slightly less than what we'll see today, so uh, probably about a 15% chance for tomorrow. And then as we go into Friday evening, this boundary starts to push into the area, and as it approaches, that will bring a slightly better chance as we go through the overnight hours of maybe seeing a shower in the area, possibly a thunderstorm. But some of that activity, as you see here, will start to dissipate as we get past uh, sunset and lose that daytime heating. Then things quiet down as we go into Saturday morning. Once again, we'll have a chance for some uh, patchy fog and mist around. If we zoom out, look at the European model here. Similar day for Saturday, typical summertime day where we'll have those afternoon chances of a pop-up shower or storm, as you can see indicated here. Then as we go into Sunday, uh, we'll have an upper-level trough start building into the northeast part of the country. And as that trough builds in, provide some wide sets widespread support for uh, more widespread showers and thunderstorms in the area on Saturday and Sunday, or excuse me, on Sunday, which will be our best chance of rain in the next seven days where we could see a decent, decent amount of rain throughout the day on Sunday uh, with scattered showers and storms around. Should see that start to wrap up as we get into early Monday morning, but with that upper level trough there, still providing support and an upper level shortwave potentially moving into the region as we get into the day on Monday. We could see another afternoon and evening time frame where we see some more scattered showers and storms in the area um, Monday evening. So we'll see how that upper level trough develops as we get to the beginning of next week. 
possibly seeing that lingering around into early Tuesday before things start to break up and we see a clearing trend as we go later in the day on Tuesday as well as into the day on Wednesday. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we're starting off green this morning. We're expecting those southeasterly winds to continue picking up to around 7 to 12 knots for the afternoon. We'll see temperatures getting up to around 83 to 85 miles per hour this afternoon, or excuse me, 83 to 85 degrees this afternoon. And that will provide a heat index of 92 to 97 as we do have some uh, humid conditions out there this morning. But we do pick up that yellow risk for precip or lightning during the afternoon. And then the precip chance should diminish after 1600 local with just a chance of a lingering thunderstorm in the area until about 1700 local. And then that starts to uh, dissipate. And as we go into the evening hours, we'll see some clearing of the high clouds and light and variable winds that will allow temperatures to cool down to around 74 degrees and provide a decent chance of seeing some mist and fog in the area, reducing those visibilities down to uh, four miles, possibly down to one mile as we get into the early morning hours. Right now, tides are running slightly above normal. If we look at to our Friday, looking to be a partly cloudy day, slightly less chance of seeing a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. So we have gone green for the day on Friday, about a 15% chance, not enough to put any colors in there, uh, but chance still being there. Otherwise, seeing a high around 85, and that's going to put our heat index values around 90 to 95. As we go into Friday evening, slightly better chance with that boundary pushing through. So we do pick up the colors of the yellow uh, for precip and lightning. So we'll see partly the most cloudy conditions with that slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm with that boundary. Otherwise, we'll see a chance of some low clouds and fog forming uh, once again during the early morning hours as we move into Saturday. So we pick up that yellow risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities. As we go into Saturday, we'll see partly the most cloudy conditions once again, continued slight chance of a pop-up afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High around 86, we'll see that heat index value 90 to 95 and the yellow risk for that precip and lightning chance. So just a typical summer pattern as we continue through the end of the week. If we look into the extended forecast here as we go into Sunday again, that's our better chance of seeing some more widespread shower, showers and thunderstorms as we get some better upper level support with the upper level trough moving through the area. Look at about a 50% chance at the moment. Could see some slightly breezy conditions, otherwise expecting a low around 74 in the morning with a high around 84 during the afternoon. As we go into Monday, possibly lingering short wave during the PM hours on Monday, bringing us about 30% chance of some showers and storms, possibly lingering over into early on Tuesday. So our high for Monday expecting around 84 degrees with a low around 72 and then going into Tuesday, slightly warmer with a low around 71, but our high up to around 86. And then we start to see things clear out as we go into Wednesday. We'll see partly cloudy conditions on Wednesday. We'll see a return to some warmer temperatures, expecting our low around 73 and our high approaching 90 at around 89. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.